my name is Sally Ann Gilchrist and I am the Exhibitions Conservator at the Bodleian Library and I am here to help install the current exhibition Love and Devotion. A lot of the material is is quite old, dates from I think the earliest we, item we have is probably either the 12th or 13th century. Um, much of it's very fragile and in some instances um, what we're concerned about um, particularly is some of some of the pigments um, that might have begun to flake off the paper layer so um, some consolidation of the media of the pigments was carried out before the material travelled to Melbourne. Essentially uh, um, a glue was used to re-adhere any lifting, lifting fragments of pigment um, back down to the paper layer, but it was done um, using a microscope and very fine brushes, so it's not something that's visible to the naked eye really. Before anything left the Bodleian, we took very detailed photographs of the pages that we that are on display here, um, and carried out. Um, complete condition reports so that we know what the material, what state the material was in before it left England to come here. All of our special collections are, have um, bespoke boxes so each item has, has a box that is made just for that item so everything is boxed before transit and um, every item is, is stored within a large crate um, the crate is buffered with um, different types of foam and every book has its own cavity um, into which it fits so that when it travels it's very stable and secure. Um, we try to minimise any uh, vibration from transit being in the plane or on a, on a truck. The material arrived in three consignments and each consignment was brought into the conservation section of the library and left overnight, well for at least 24 hours to acclimatise before we unpacked the material. You have to remember that the materials come from England where it's winter, so cold and quite dry surprisingly, um, to Melbourne where it was quite summery <laughs> and quite humid, so the conditions are quite different, so the material was left to acclimatise in a um, in an area that was where the climate is controlled. If there's a big difference in climate you will see the materials respond um, quite shockingly I suppose to those changes so any fluctuations in temperature or humidity say um, you'll see if paper begin to cockle and so begin to undulate and um, definite movements within the bindings where books perhaps won't close anymore or not as well as, as they, they might. So it's really important to maintain the environment at a fairly constant temperature and humidity um, throughout its journey. I'm quite confident that the material has been transported very securely and I'm looking forward to seeing the material on display very soon.